What is the activation energy for a 3 armed star diffusion coefficient in table 5.9? Assuming an Arrhenius relationship, how do you interpret this result? Assuming Arrhenius relationship, the equation relating the diffusion coefficients d1 and d2 at two different temperatures t1 and t2 would be ln d1 over d2 equals negative Ea over R times 1 over t1 minus 1 over t2 where Ea is the activation energy and d1 and d2 are the diffusion coefficients at temperatures t1 and t2. So R is the gas constant and T1 and T2 are expressed in Kelvin. So this would be the relation between D1 and D2 at two different temperatures T1 and T2 if they followed an Arrhenius relationship. Plugging in the values from table 5.9 D1 is 2.4 times 10 to the negative 14 centimeters squared per second and D2 is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 13 10 centimeters squared per second eight point three one four joules per mole Kelvin and the temperatures are 1 over 125 centigrade which is 398 Kelvin 165 centigrade which is 438 Kelvin so this gives us an EA value of 73.163 kilojoules per mole So to, give, to get some perspective, room temperature is 25 centigrade which is 298 Kelvin and RT at room temperature would be 8.314 times 298 which is 2.4 kilojoules which means about 25 times of energy is needed for diffusion to happen. Let us find out what the diffusion coefficient would be at room temperature using Arrhenius 2.4 times 10 to the negative 14 centimeters squared per second over D1 at room temperature which is unknown equals negative 73.163 kilojoules per mole times 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin times 1 over 398 minus 1 over 298 which is the room temperature D1 is 8.73 times 10 to the negative 18 centimeters squared per second so the diffusion coefficient at room temperature is much more less if we look at the table 5.9 we can see that the linear polymer the linear polybutadiene has a diffusion coefficient of 4.8 times 10 to the negative 11 centimeters cube squared per second since the molecular weight of the linear polymer is almost the same it's 7.3 times 10 to the power 4 grams per mole which is almost the same as the three armed uh, polybutadiene which is 7.5 times 10 to the power 4 grams per mole and both are at the same temperature which is 125 degrees centigrade 
let us find out what would be the activation energy for the linear polymer assuming that the Arrhenius constant would be the same for the linear polymer would be the activation energy for the star polymer plus ln of the diffusion coefficient of the star polymer over the diffusion coefficient of the linear polymer and we get the activation energy for the linear polymer as Forty-eight kilojoules per mole. So we can see that the activation energy for the linear polymer is much less than the activation energy for the star polymer. That is because the star polymer has to align it, the three arms in the direction of diffusion, whereas the linear polymer does not have to do that. So the star polymer experiences a decrease in configurational entropy for diffusion um, and so its activation energy is much higher than that of the linear polymer.